Okay, uh, here we are speaking with uh, Rogers Matagua. Rogers Matagua. Look, uh, how long has it been since you fought last? May. May. And you're fighting uh, Juan Manuel Lopez. Five months later. Five months later, yeah. It's relatively, relatively quick, but um, you, you seem like you're staying in pretty good shape. And uh, are you going to be doing anything different with this fight against Lopez? It's, uh, yeah, yeah. Anything different? I um, gotta do something different for Lopezo because it's Lopezo and it's So I gotta do something different. So, uh, I mean, he's a he's a pretty, he's an aggressive guy. And he, yeah, he's, he's a he's, good fight. Yeah, well, actually, he's a southpaw, so we're, he, he has to fight different than he normally fights a conventional fight or what the doctor. He's got to he's gotta move to his left and, mm -hmm, and, right. and stay on the outside of uh, Lopez and not, not, you know, fall into a trap where he can get caught with uh, Lopez's left hand, which is which is his power. I mean, he got power in both hands, but his strength naturally is in his is in his uh, left hand, being a southpaw. Right, right. And what is uh, what's your strength, Rogers? What strength? His right hand. Your right hand? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Body shot. Like you, you throw some good body shots. Huh? Full up with all the punch and the body shot. Are you expecting this fight to go the distance? Yeah. Are you? And um. Tell me, to, to go to a 12-round fight, I mean, you got to be in pretty good shape. you got to eat right. What exactly do you eat before you fight? It keeps you strong. Yeah, I see a lot of people keep asking which you eat. So I'm trying to explain to people, I eat everything you want to eat. I'm look like my body is full, so I'm good for me. <laughs> yeah. Some people say you need to eat this, you need to eat this. I don't got a time like that. You don't, you don't, you don't pay too much attention to that. You, you don't just, pay too uh, much attention yeah. to party full. So he be my stuff. Fried stuff, though. I don't let him eat too much fried yeah. stuff. Once in a while, but yeah, and here, here we're, we're, fried, we're talking, fried talking fried to, to Joe. Uh, Joe, what's your name? Perella. Joe Perella. This is a uh, Rogers manager. Yeah. And he's uh, filling in with with Roger. Keep him off of some of the fried stuff. Yeah, we don't like that fast food stuff. You know, that stuff we don't like him to eat. What do you? What does he primarily eat? Well, uh, he eats uh, like uh, pork chops. I'll buy him pork chops. So he'll eat chicken. He'll eat steak. You know, and uh, nothing fried. Uh, nothing fried. It's all grilled. Or uh, oven cooked. How often does he run? Does he run runs every day? day? Runs every day. How yeah. how long? He, he runs like two three miles every day. How do you run it? Do you sprint it? Do you he, sp he does. He does his two or three miles and then he does sprints. Oh really? So, so yeah, he does, he does the sprints on top of the run. Up on top of the run, yeah. And and but during the run, a three mile say a three mile run, does he keeps just a steady fast pace? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. One steady fast One pace. One steady pace all the time. Awesome. Hey, I wish you the best of luck, Rogers. Man, you seem like a cool down to earth cat. And um, good luck to you, man. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Tell Bragging Rights Corner hey for me. Thank you. <laughs> All, right. All right, man. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Thanks, Thanks, Joe. Appreciate man. it. Right. Appreciate it.